Hey, Fatty Boom Bilati here with a beer review. And um, tonight I'm going to do Innocent Gun, their uh, Scottish Porter with molasses added. And you see this bottle's empty because I've already poured it up. I started uh, reviewing this uh, a few minutes ago and it really wasn't coming out right. And I think uh, also it was too cold. I mean, it was straight out of the fridge and. I think I should have let it warm up a little, which it has now. So when I poured this, um, there was no head. It was about like this. I mean, essentially the same. No foam, nothing. Um, but you can see the tiny like champagne bubbles. You probably can't. I don't know. Also, I thought the color was a little bit light for a Porter, um, as you can see, it looks more ruby red, you know, light ruby color. But out of the bottle, it was pouring kind of a, a caramel color. Anyway, the fragrance, as soon as I popped the cap, there was this burst of mainly wood with some kind of sweet notes. Um, like figs and raisins and the dark dried fruits. Um, if you're familiar with Innocent Gun, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe some toffee. I didn't smell molasses. Um, maybe a little burnt sugar, which might be from the molasses, but. And there's some boozy smell. Yeah, definitely burnt sugar. It's, it's very nice uh, fragrance wise, very nice. And it's reminiscent of all the other um, innocent gun. But let's give it a give it a swig. Um, the flavor to me does not match the fragrance. The mouthfeel is very light, low carbonation. It's almost flat. You get a little bit of carbonation up front, but it dissipates um, almost immediately. And it's long gone after you swallow it. Um, a little bit of lacing. It's a little boozy. I don't know what the alcohol content is. Um, usually Innocent Gun is a little bit higher than normal. Oh, here we go. 7.4%. So it's it's high. Certainly not the highest, but um, yeah, I'm getting more booze and less of the molasses and caramel and the dried fruits that I want to taste from the fragrance. Um, Maybe it should age. I'm not sure. The bottles are clear, which I hear um, really isn't a friend of, excuse me, clear glasses and a friend to beer, but who knows? Maybe in a dark cellar. Excuse me, I'm trying to belch, but. Um, so I'm just really not that excited about the flavor of this. It's not bad. And I think maybe if I'd tasted this before any of the other Innocent Gun, I would think, wow, this is this is good. It would make me want to try more. But I'm going to put this with the rum cask. It's good, but it doesn't stand out from the other Innocent Gun. I remember liking the holiday one a lot sort of on the spicy side and I love the original yeah this has got a bitter an unpleasant bitter aftertaste to me and even more so that like molasses is very sweet but it does have that bitter edge to it I guess because all the sugars have been cooked out over and over again but I don't know you might like it. It's also kind of thin for a porter. Uh, 
I'm not getting a lot of horror out of it. It sounds like I'm really beating up on this beer. I'm not trying to. It's just that I'm just not as fond. You know what I mean? It's quite a drop from the original. It really is. In fact, I think I like the rum cask better than this. Um, anyway, I'll quit blathering. Um, not as complex as it smells, certainly not as complex as the other Innocent Gun, but still, I'll say again, it's worth a try. You might really like it, especially if you like sharper beers or less sweet. You'll like it. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.